No girl, I don't deserve you I don't get the references you refer to I love your lips, my cousin, you lack a perfume I hope to get you home, my curfew Word up! There's a special kind of girl that goes to my shows And I don't mean the goopy hoes all along the front row She's more like a wallflower, like the one that's like a snipe I'm a lexer when I'm with her cause I think I like her type She might seem shy and Hey, it's the girlfriend from hookahpro.com Your online resource for everything hookah And tonight we're gonna do a shisha review of Laylina Pomegranate uh, we got this in a trade, or maybe it was a sale, I don't know. Um, it's dyed, I don't know any tobacco that's bright flipping red. <clears throat> what we have left is very wet. Um, I'd say it'd be medium wetness, it's not going to go dripping on you. And it's a kind of a grind more than a cut. It almost looks like a mush. Yeah, it is kind of mushy when you um, pack it, but it's kind of squishy. Which is kind of disturbing, a red mush. It's brains. Oh, the brains! Anyone get that movie reference, you get like two points. Anyway, um, it's a really light, natural smell. It doesn't necessarily smell like pomegranates because it doesn't smell really fruity. But I actually really enjoy it the uh, smell of this one. He said it's just a very light, natural, I wouldn't call it like woodsy or anything, but it's nice. I really like it. <clears throat> light is like an understatement. Yeah, you can barely smell it. You gotta like shove your nose down in it to get this smell. I've only had pomegranate once, so. This pomegranate? No, pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate is like. The, well, the fruit is it can be a little tangy. Um, the juice is usually a little sweeter than the fruit itself. It's a bitch and a half to eat. Really good though. Um, never. I repeat, never give a pomegranate to a child. Not only is it a choking hazard, but that's a. Uh, even with bleach, I'll never get those stains out of your clothing fruit. Anyway, uh, we're smoking out of our normal setup. We just started it up so the smoke isn't like super great or anything because it's the bowl still warming up. Actually, if you want to throw a wind cover on it. You can say wind cover. No. No, I can't. Don't have to use some sort of secret code. I think people know what a wind cover is. Why do you have a little of our secrets out? For those of you that don't know what a wind cover is, that is a wind cover. Showing them the ugly one. I wouldn't, no. Table's a mess, it's not like they'd seen. This is also a wind cover. A tangier sized wind <coughs> cover, but. <clears throat> not with a can. You think they heard that? I don't know. Talk louder. I really like this flavor. It's really... <laughs> Let's tone it down there. Um, it's really light. Uh, it's one of those flavors that I like to... introduce, kind of, to new smokers. I mean, it's not overpowering. It's, it doesn't taste really like pomegranates, in my opinion. But I really like it. I think it'd be um, really good with other complementary fruit flavors, like blueberry. Pomegranates and blueberries usually go really well together. Uh, pomegranates and cranberries do. I don't. I've never really heard of any cranberry shishas. Hookah, hookah. The only other one. That's the only one I know of. I really like sauerkraut. Thanks for showing everyone that I'm just eating it out of the thing. I look fat and weird. Yay. That's um reposition stuff. Yeah, I know. Just like show everyone that. Um, Let's see if I can get another. Okay. Sour crowd. Um. I don't know. There's not much else to say about the flavor. I mean, it, it, it is kind of unforgettable. I mean, sometimes I even forget we have the flavor, but obviously we've I mean, smoked it's forgettable. A oh. Not unforgettable. I do that a lot. Um, we've had the container for a while, but we've smoked it almost all the way gone, and it was about half full, so... I'm going to say it's it's a good 
I don't even know how to phrase it, break flavor. Yeah. Like it's, if you want something light without a heavy buzz, blah, blah, blah. And it's also a break away from your heavy fruit flavors. Um, it's something different just in general. What are we at? Worrying me that, like, watch that. Hi, I'm a wind cover. Look at me go. Hi, who can throw members? Okay. Done. <laughs> damn dogs. Now that we've gotten it going, the taste is actually developing a little bit more. It gets, as you have the bowl going it develops a certain complexity don't you think so yeah yeah it is like, i don't know like, i guess it could take the heat because that was a uh... usually it doesn't take that long to get going it's true i think it's because it's the bottom of what we have and it's a little wetter I hate that word wetter you can actually pull the wind cover off it's going moisture not even a word. I don't think anybody really gets that reference. My, these potatoes are moist. That's reference number two if you can get either one of those. Congratulations. I feel we should throw a third one in and then whoever gets all three will send them something. Like, <laughs> I just don't know what, what third obscure reference to throw out there. That's right, this is, this is an on-the-fly contest. <laughs> and for some reason, Quentin Tarantino's line from Pulp Fiction keeps no, coming to mind. No, no, no. Um. <laughs> I'm grabbing some peels. Alright, that's just here, and now you actually have to grab... Okay, can I... I'm grabbing peels. I just, I don't know. Somebody that was lame. It. That was weak. That was weak. It's because there was like... Okay, but there's three. There's, there's three, three references. Yes. Alright, um, first person to name those off gets... Nakla Single Apple. Unopened 50 gram pack? There you go. Alright. Just because we don't like the flavor, but I'm sure somebody out there does. I kind of did, but all right, you're going to give away the know. flavors that I like. Yes. Like always. There's still, like, half of it left. Anyway, I guess we haven't really talked about this flavor at all. Uh, I like it. I give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> That's not a very good high rate. It's not a very high rating for liking it. You're one to talk. It's not, like, my favoritest flavor, but it's not bottom of the barrel. I mean, it's it's good, especially for Laylena. Um, everyone says Laylena puts out some subpar flavors, but the brand does have its high points. I mean, as does any brand. Don't give me that look. This will show people your man boobies. Back off. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna talk about this flavor at all? I don't know that I care about the flavor too much, so... Yeah, there you go. Ghost doesn't care at all. He's not even going to rate it, so... I'll give it a... Five. We'll go with this. I wouldn't go out of my way to order it, but I'd pick it up if I saw it at a smoke shop or if somebody offered a sample or something. There you go. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty, like, that's a pretty good description of the flavor, right? Sure. I don't know. Um, well, until next time, guys, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice.